like most Canadians, I don't care about the Pan Am Games. Nothing against the athletes. I wish them well, and I hope Canada does well, and I know it's exciting for them, but it's not the Olympics. Although it has an Olympic-sized price tag for taxpayers, that's what bugs me. $2.5 billion on yet another government vanity project. You know, there's a saying, look after the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. As in, if you make saving money part of your mindset, your culture, it'll really add up. Well, the Pan Am Games has the opposite going on. They waste money on every single little thing, which is why they're so over budget in total. Even though ticket sales are a disaster, this thing, I, mean, I saw a news story the other day about an event at a venue with seating for 2,000 people and there were only 25 people in the stands. The Pan Am Games are exactly what you'd expect from Kathleen Wynne's Liberal government. A bonanza for lobbyists and promoters and bureaucrats. Their former CEO, Ian Troop, who's being paid $477,000 a year, he billed taxpayers once for a 91 cent parking fee for a $1.89 cup of tea. Yeah, so of course he also billed for an $8,500 Mexican hotel and cocktail party because, you know, Pan Am Games, right? What a boondoggle. The only thing this is missing is an insufferable, overpaid celebrity. Well, don't think they've left, uh, been left out. The Canadian organizers for the Canadian Pan Am Games have paid the rapper Kanye West, otherwise known as Mr. Kim Kardashian, to sing at the closing ceremonies. I guess there are no Canadian artists available, eh? How about Drake? He's a Toronto boy, very popular here. I, I bet he wouldn't have charged what West is charging to sing. Now, I happen to like some of Kanye West's music, but not enough to invite him to sing at a Canadian show. But here's the thing. If you want to like Kanye West, don't go to a show. Don't go hear him live. Like a lot of musicians these days, he only sounds good once his work has been doctored in the studio, fixed by computers, auto-tuned, as they say. He has many skills and is a successful man. Having a good singing voice is not one of them. Now, this entire commentary has just been excused to show you the following viral video. It's a mashup of Kanye West singing a song at a concert without auto-tune, singing a song when he should have been lip-syncing, compared to that same song sung by a great musician, a great performer, a great artist. Here, take a look at this fun little mashup. Take a look. Mama, I just killed a man. Put my gun up to his head Pulled a trigger, now he's dead Mama Life had But now The late Freddie Mercury, one of the greats. Kanye West, yeah, he's just a gold digger. Uh, now I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke. Bro. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, 